beautiful out here, isn't it? Today on the Express, it's all about West Coast winter fun. Oh, hey! I do not consider snowball plays to be fun. Stop it! I'm not even armed! On today's show, I may have found my sport. It's Snowboarding 101 at Mount Seymour. Look at me, trending some sweet powder! Ah! One ski on. How cute are these kids? Try a scooter skiing lesson at Cypress. Good work. Numerous bunch of organisms on this particular tree. The other health benefit of snowshoeing on the Medicine Trail. The medicinal properties of everything around us right now are, are pretty huge. And later, a winter rush zip lining at Gross Mansion. See that and more local expressions. Welcome to the Express, only on Shaw TV. I'm Johanna Ward. Cypress Mountain, Gross Mountain, Whistler Blackcomb, and Mount Seymour. We're covering all kinds of snowy ground on today's Winter Rec special. Starting with my very first try at snowboarding. So I probably don't need to be wearing my helmet right now, hey? But it just makes me feel tough. Yeah, well you don't want to mess up your hair. That's true. So the first thing that we want to figure out when we start the snowboard is what way we want to stand on our snowboard. Okay, well everyone's going to assume I'm goofy, but let's figure it out. So you can give it a go. You go that way first. Yeah! So you're sliding like this. Sliding! Cool, so that's right foot forward. So the most important thing about snowboarding is how you're standing on your board. You want to have a really stable stance, so knees nice and bent, hands relaxed by your side, and most importantly you want to be looking up and where you're going because if you're looking at the ground you'll probably fall over. Nice and bent, keep your eyes up. Eyes up. There you go, try a little jump. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah! Because both of your feet are strapped into one thing, you can kind of feel like your shoelaces are tied together, but yeah, no, it's, it, it takes a little bit of practice, definitely. Yeah, so when we're stopping, we want to make sure that edge that's on the downhill side, so in this case our toes, okay. is off the snow. Give you a bit of a pull. <laughs> that's it, and then to stop, just take your foot off. Perfect. Okay, looking up, pointing, and then just lean onto those toes. That's it. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> just let that board turn itself. You're just using your leg. That's it. Perfect. Uh, so all these movements are exactly the same when we have both feet strapped in. All right. I've been holding this with one foot. I started snowboarding in New Zealand, and uh, I love Mount Seymour. I definitely consider it home. I've been here three seasons now, and the terrain is really fun, and the parks are awesome. And he's such a good sport and a great instructor. Later we're going to try out the rope toe and carve out some turns. Now up here at Cypress Mountain they also have lots of great instructors, some pretty energetic ones, but no ordinary rope toe. As you'll see with today's scooter ski lesson, you can take a ride on the magic carpet. If you want to end up here, you'll have to start here at ski school. Heel, push, nice. Two and three is a really great age to get them sliding and moving. We're going to big, big steps. Urgh, come on, be monsters. This is Scooter's Kids Camp at Cypress Mountain. And today, four-year-old Max and three-year-old Henrik are getting their very first ski lesson. One ski on, push. We're introducing the skill on one leg and we're warming up. Henrik, how you doing, buddy? Enthusiastic instructors like Trudy Ann Harvey say when it comes to teaching kids, you have to make it fun. Yet when they're following me with one ski in that circle, they're pushing their ski. So I'm teaching a skill in a game. Push, push, push. And since falls are inevitable, oh, Henrik likes the falling. Trudy Ann teaches the kids how to fall correctly. Ready? Oh, boom! Now how are you going to get up? And how to get up? Jump up like that. Good. Reach, come towards me. The first trip down the hill is exciting for these guys, but the real piece de resistance is the magic carpet. It's on a very gentle terrain, and the children love the ride as much as the skiing down. Well done, you're working it. Hendrik, did you like going up the mountain or down the mountain better? Uh, 
the carpet is a lot better than what we learned on when we were younger. We were on rope toes and falling all over the place. After a 50-minute intro, Hendrik and Max are finished their lesson. And thanks to Trudy Ann, they're ready to hit the mountain. Thanks, Hendrik. Good work. They'll be passing me within a couple of years, but they'll be skiing down the mountain this year, for sure. There's lots of fun, lots of people that were encouraging for the kids. Did you have fun today? Yeah. I think he thinks it was very exciting. Max and Hendrik are on their way to becoming expert skiers. But for now, they're happy being experts at this. We can do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Bianca Salterbeck in North Vancouver for The Express. A scooter ski lesson is about 50 minutes long, but kids can stay as long as they want. The lessons start at level yellow, which is the easiest, and they go all the way up to blue, which is the hardest, and includes parallel turns. The website is cypressmountain.com. You're watching The Express, and we have more winter fun coming up. And then scroll down and look on the up. How to learn to snowboard in three minutes or less. I should have brought a butt pillow. Numerous bunch of organisms on this particular tree. The healing side of snowshoeing in the Callahan Valley. The medicinal properties of everything around us right now are, are pretty huge. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.